It is uh, 10 after 4 in the morning. It is marathon day. Got the secret weapon going here. This is lentils and oatmeal. And you just throw in a bouillon cube. Someone asked me for a recipe on this. It's just oatmeal, lentils, and a bouillon cube. That's it. You just boil it until it's like sludge consistency. And that is your secret weapon for running fast and fueled well. Well, it's my secret weapon anyway. Just gonna go pick up race kit. So we decided after the kit pickup that we would just do like a bit of a ride through what the marathon course actually is. And it seems like the majority of it is on this like asphalt path, which looks like the go-kart track from Blank Check. It's very flat. So we kind of sort of went the wrong way, like we're salmoning up the trail on the way back. What we were supposed to do was run on the other side of the water here, and then you come around here, take a right up the trail, and then there's a turnaround point and you head back down that way. I don't think we go down there. That's a cool house. So on the first lap, you don't cross this bridge, you turn around to head back, go through the city, and then come back this way, the exact same way that you started, and then continue on just a little further, probably like another kilometer or so, past this bridge to turn around and bring it home to finish the marathon. There's the last spot. There should be a cone here somewhere. You turn around, straight shot home, barreling, just cruising home. Let's get running. Hope like and hell. Running. <laughs> running. I think it's this far. And it's cold morning. It is a cold morning. It's supposed to warm up pretty quick though. So, I don't know, what do you do? The adrenaline is high. We're gonna crush it. Through the camera. Yeah, and through the camera. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Good luck. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Good we'll see you guys at the end. We'll see you at the end. Let's go. All right, all right. Good luck, everybody. The 46th annual Spirit of the Hill. We're past the five kilometer mark, vlogging around hundreds of people. Feeling great. Probably five kilometers in like 25 minutes. Just about the pace, pace I'm looking for. Just above 10 kilometers now. Also feeling great. The hardest part of uh, pretty much all of this is trying not to get too excited when someone passes you and start chasing them like you're on a road bike trying to like chase an attack. Here comes one of the leaders. Looking good, looking good. There's like maybe seven people ahead of him. They're cooking, burn and turn. We are well past the half marathon mark by one kilometer. We've actually had a little bit of a, little bit of a mistake. One of the turnaround points was later than I said when we did the course recon. So, all these uh, fine folks doing the half marathon, 
they might have added a little bit more distance than they were supposed to that's all right we're going to turn around a little bit early on our second lap try and get that 42.2 in boy anything you want to add to that i am now at just about the 35k mark the course has been corrected we are at the correct distance right now feeling good actually i shouldn't say i'm feeling good i'm definitely feeling We'll see. The watch says 40.06 kilometers. We're at three hours, 19 minutes, and 43 seconds. Woo! That's the end. Thank you very much. So uh, it's the day after the marathon right now as I shoot this. I didn't, uh, and I think it's understandable, I didn't shoot an outro of the marathon at the time of the conclusion of the marathon. I had a mild concern of a little bit, like a possible bit of pukage coming up. So just trying to tend to that a little bit, which is understandable because that was a big effort that I'm so hyped on. The public goal that I put out into the ether, into this channel constantly was a three hour and 45 minute, but the real, the real one, the secret one that I didn't want to divulge because it may not have happened was in the, th I wanted to be in the 3.30s. And the official time, three hours, 30 minutes and 36 seconds for the chip start to end. The training for the 14 weeks went really well. I was really, really good about my nutrition in the last like three days leading up to it. My taper was good. My nutrition through the run was good. I was really, really mature and smart with my pacing throughout. There was moments, like when I said that thing at, at the 10 kilometer mark, people were passing like, I really had to fight the urge to be like, I can go faster than this right now. Like I could be running a 430. I could just absolutely smash. I could get into the 320s. And I'm really, really glad I didn't do that. I was just smart about it because thankfully this was my second marathon now. I know what it feels like to get to that. Like me, it's right around the 36 kilometer mark where it's like, oh, things are started, starting to unravel a little bit. And I knew that I needed to save something for that. And I did, I finished way stronger than, uh, than I expected because I was smart and uh, very mature through the beginning, middle, and I had enough left in it uh, for the end. The pace, the pace, like, very consistent. Anyway, I'm very excited. Thanks for watching all these vlogs leading to this. I'm, I'm pretty excited that even at the pace I was running, the, the time that I got, I still shot as much as I did, keeping the video updated. You know, it was a, a big accomplishment. I feel, I feel pretty great about it. Like. Typically, I finish things and I'm like, ah, I feel like I could have done more, done better. And this time it was like, no, everything went exactly to plan. This went like, it could not have gone better. Um, the goal wasn't to do better than that. Like, everything went exactly the way it was supposed to. It was very realistic and I made it up. So, yeah, I'm hyped about that. Now, you may recall, my dad was there as well to run his first ever marathon. So, we'll just conclude this vlog with his finish, and that'll be that. The marathon chapter of Spindap 2024 comes to a close. I'm so hyped on the time I got. I'm like so hyped. There he is, that's my old man. Oh, he's looking at his claw. That's my dad there. Come coming on around now. The, Coming in around the five hour mark. Come on. We gotta do a little bit more. A little bit more of that way. Come on, buddy. You don't need no scooter. Okay, let's spin him up to New Brunswick. Oh, marathon. Spin up these heads of ages. Isn't that the worst thing ever? Isn't that the worst thing ever? <laughs> Why did I sign up for this? <laughs> I wasn't there. Oh, hey!